Hey everybody, this is a really cool card trick. This is James Galea's 673 King Street, and this is my version of it. So here we go to start. I've just got a deck of cards, uh, no particular order, and just, uh, I hit cut it, and the order changes. Sometimes a jack's on top, cut down more, sometimes a queen's on top. So it really doesn't matter. Uh, I can shuffle the cards and all the cards change I can give the cards a cut and the cards always change so um, give them a final cut and uh, here we go this is a story of what actually happened to me a couple weeks ago I was walking in the city and I ran into two girls they were two redheads and they had two friends with them who were two brunettes so we were talking for a little bit, and they asked me what my name was, so I told them, uh, you call me Jack. I said, well, Jack, we're going to a party. It's on 673 King Street. There's a cover charge of $25. I said, $25? I said, yep, $25. So um, just as I said that, my friend calls me up, so I answer the phone. I said, hello, this is Jack. He says, uh, Jack, what do you do tonight? I say, I'm going to a party. It's on 700-something King Street. The girls say, no, no, no. It's on 673 King Street. So I said, sorry, buddy, I actually got that wrong. It's on... 673 King Street. And he asked, well, is there a cover charge? I said, of course there's a cover charge. How much is it? That's right, $25. So at this point, he says, well, that's a problem because I only have $10. So I listen, I know you a long time, and I know you have more than $10 on you. He says, you're right, I have 40 So we walk into the party, and someone must recognize me because they uh, say, hey, Jack. I say, yeah. I say, uh, you want to play some poker? We need the dealers. So I say, sure. So before you play poker, you got to cut the cards. So I cut the cards. And uh, he says, listen, if you're going to deal, you're going to help me out. Uh, I want to win this game, so give me a full house. Give me fours and eights. So I deal him two fours and three eights. The next guy says, well, it's cheating. If you're going to help him, help me out too. I want four nines. So I deal him the four nines. Now the last guy says, okay, right, now you're cheating for both of them. Why don't you give me four aces? Nothing can beat that with an eight. So I give him an eight and one, two, three, four aces. And he starts to reach for the pot. So I said, what the hell are you doing? He says, well, Jack, there's no way for you to win. I said, sure I can. All I need is a straight flush. And that's what I got, and that's my story. That was James Galea's 673 King Street. It's a really cool trick. Uh, here's the tutorial for it. Uh, the first thing you're going to do is arrange the cards in a certain order. And you can see the order and I have posted the, you want the cards in that order, and I put the um, order of the cards down in the bottom bar, or whatever you want to call it. So once you uh, arrange the, your cards in that order, you can pause this video and come back. So once you have arranged that, the second step is to take the bottom card, which should be the six of spades, and just bend one of the corners a little bit. And uh, not too much, but just enough so that when you cut the cards you'll see a little crease and you'll see that where that crease is if you separate it and cut it again the cards will be back into the same order that's very important because you want to be able to cut the cards and you want to let a spectator cut the cards and as many times as they cut it you'll always know how to put it back as long as the order's not disturbed you'll know how to put it back just by looking at the crease and cutting right there now, after that, you're going to want to memorize completely the, sh the whole story. You're going to want to get the story down of, without doing any false cuts, just going through the whole story very quickly and knowing it. And you're going to want to be able to do that very fluently because uh, that is really the most important part of the trick. Then after you've got the actual story down, you're going to want to do the finishing touches. Like, um, and You're going to want to know some false cuts. If you don't know any false cuts, uh, First of all, this is like what a false cut is. It looks like the changing the order, but really, cards are still on top. Um, if you don't know any false cuts, you can. I have a video of some false cuts. I'll put a link to that. Um, and you're also going to want to know a false shuffle. I don't have a video of that, but I will uh, put a link to Miss Mag's uh, Miss Mag eighty two's um, his false shuffle tutorial, and uh, what it looks like is just this looks like you're shuffling the cards but really you're just letting it pass through 
and you're just cutting them again. So the order is still the same. So once you've got all those things down, um, you can do the trick. And so I'm just going to run through the trick one more time and uh, explain a little more of what it is. So you're going to start with the two redheads you meet, and then they have two friends who are two brunettes. You talk for a little bit, and they ask you your name, so you say you can call me Jack. Now, um, um, so at this point, they mention a party on 673 King Street. There's a cover charge of $25. They so say, how much? You say $25. All right, $25. And your friend calls, and now I like to do a false cut at this point. So I separate the cards, do my little false cut and say, uh, hello, this is Jack. Say, well, Jack, what are you doing tonight? Well, I'm going to a party on 700-something King Street. Now, at this point, you want to take the bottom half of the cards, or the bottom third, put them on the table, say no, do the same thing again, no, no. The party is on 673 King Street. Then slide the cards over and say, oh, sorry, buddy, I got that wrong. It's actually on 673 King Street. And there's a cover charge of, and then you ask the spectator how much, and they say $25. You say, yep, that's right, $25. So now he says, well, that's a problem because I only have 10. I do another false cut here, take the bottom half, tap it right on top, put it down, say, listen, I know you a long time, you have more than that. All right, I have 40. So I take another false cut here, and it gets hard once you get a little uh, more down the pile because you have less cards. And you say, you walk into a party, someone must have recognized you because they say, hey, Jack. Now, without them really noticing, you just cut the cards again. You do a real cut this time. So you want to play some poker. So yeah, sure. Uh, so before you play poker, you have to cut the cards. And nine out of ten times, when they cut the cards, because of that little break, the bottom card will be a six of spades. It's not a six of spades this time. So kind of casually, you just have to do another cut and put the six of spades on bottom, but most of the time it works out so the bottom card is the six of spades. And if it's not, just keep going with the trick and make sure you glance down make sure it is. And if it's not, just recut it again. Say, okay, so now you go back to the trick. Uh, the guy asks for a full house with two fours and three eights. Make sure you say it before you put it down. So then the next guy says, well, it's cheating. Give me four nines. Last guy says, now you're cheating for both of them. Give me four aces with an eight. So you give me eight and four aces. Okay, so now you get to the what the hell card. For this, you're just going to want to get a blank card if you have one. Uh, this is not completely... Uh, you don't need it for the trick, but it definitely makes it a little um, funnier and makes it better. So you just take a blank card, right? what the hell. If you don't do that, it's fine. But if you do, you just want to pick it up, look at it, make sure it's facing them, say, what the hell? And then you say, well, Jack... There's no way for you to win. I say, sure, I can. All I need is a straight flush. So you want to make sure that the two, three, four, five, six are all in the same suit in the right order. And you say, that's my trick and that's my story. And it's a really cool trick. It's probably one of my favorite card tricks. So if you have any questions on that, just comment. I'll be happy to answer. But anyways, thanks for watching.